Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are doing well. I am back with my monthly favorites and I'm calling this video mon my monthly favorites haul because everything that I'm showing you it's not only my are not only my favorites but some of them uh, I bought just a week ago because they were empty. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, my first item that I want to show you is this Nivea cream care um, cream dish. And I discovered this uh, product like a month or two ago and since, I mean you can see here is a new product and since my skin is super sensitive I always need to try um, what really works for me. So this product really works, the smell is fantastic, I like it and it's really a cream kind of douche, you know, for your, I mean, it's like a cream but it's a cream douche. Yeah, for the shower. Really like this product and just got this one new. Okay, so the next product that I like is this um, L'Oreal eye makeup remover. I discovered this one through a video from Deluxe Babe. She was mentioning this one in one of her, I think it was also like a monthly favorite. And uh, since she was using the Dior eye makeup remover, she was obsessed with the Dior, but obviously the price is so expensive that somehow you need to save money in some of the products, you know, like I mean, I invest money for in in a luxury brand for my skincare product, but you know, sometimes a drugstore brand works as good as the luxury one. So she was uh, just recommending this one in one of her video. I thought, you know what? I go ahead and check this out, and I love it. It works. It works exactly the same like the Lancome that I used to use. And but the price is like I don't know I paid this one something like two three euros or a little bit more and the Lancome Bifacil eye makeup remover costs almost thirty euro I mean do you see the difference is it's huge so now I I actually want just to save a little bit little bit of money in some of the items and yeah and this works really good the only downside of this product is the packaging and um, the top here when you open the top I want to squeeze out the product put it on your cotton, then somehow the whole the product falls out. So it's, it's for me, it's like a product waste um, packaging. If this, if this hole here would be a little bit up, would be, you know, like the plastic type thing would be a little bit uh, up and then the product would came out, it would be much better because you can really focusing how you get out the product. But in this case, the product just comes out. So this is the only downside of the packaging. Other than that, the product is really, really good. The next item that I like to show you is this B oil body oil. <laughs> B oil body oil? Yeah, well, it's a B oil body for body. And I mentioned this one already in one of my favorite videos. Um, I use this one for my skin. My skin is super dry and sensitive, but this oil works very well for um, dry skin works for scar, you know, if you have a scar whenever you have it, you know, face, body, what, wherever, you can um, just uh, put this product on top of your scar and just massage it in and it turns really soft, beautiful, the color will change, you know, we get more natural, this is what this product really d do, does. And um, what also is good is when you are pregnant and you are looking for a oil to massage on your belly, this one will help prevent, you know, the stripes that you get during the pregnancy time. So this is the B oil and they just released some months ago the new packaging. And this is 125 milliliter, I guess. Yes, it is. So I bought the bigger bottle so that I have a little bit more, you know, because uh, they had just, uh, you know, they have the just um, half of this product, product and they now just released the bigger one. So love, love, love this product. Then the next item that I really, really, really like is this Lancome Hydrazine Norocom um, Face Gel Cream. I used to have, this product is my holy grail, right? So I use this one for the past, I don't know, 10 years or so. And I tried last year for the first time something else. I mean, I used to have also drugstore brands. I like Garnier, you know, L'Oreal. But this one really works for me because my skin, as I mentioned, is really sensitive and this one really works for me. 
What I did last year, I tried the Chanel one. They have also this watery gel cream line, you know, I tried this um, gel cream, but it didn't work for me. So first of all, I didn't like that the product came in a plastic um, bottle or packaging instead of a glass. I didn't like the smell and I didn't like how it felt on my skin. So I used it up, yes, but I was not happy on it and my skin really showed how, how unhappy I was, you know. So I went back to my um, oldie but goodie, uh, Lancome Hydrazine Norocon, the gel cream. It comes in this pink glass bottle and the top is plastic. I'll show you quickly how the inside looks and it is really a gel cream. It's more a gel than a cream and the smell is just divine. And for me this works and I don't think that I'm gonna change again, you know, soon. The next product that I really really like is this new fragrance that I got and this one is from Chanel Eau de Tendre Eau de Toilette. I um, saw obviously again the Lux Babes video and Sarah from The Curly Life, they mentioned this product as their um, favorite perfume, so I thought, you know what, I, if, if they tell that it's good, I go ahead and just smell it. I smelled it and I smelled it also on Sarah when we met, so I really liked the smell and I thought I'll go ahead and get this one. And whenever I use this perfume, I have to think of Sarah. Uh, end of our time when we met in Amsterdam. So I am not good in describing smells but I can tell you guys that this one smells like clean laundry. It smells really like clean laundry and fresh spring and has something lemon in it. There you go. This is the smell. So if you're interested go ahead and check it out in some of the drugstores, you know, that sells fragrances or in a Chanel counter. Try it on, maybe ask them to give you a small sample, this is what I did. Try it on if your skin uh, chemistry works with this fragrance. And I got the smallest bottle. What I do when I buy fragrances, I always go with and buy the small bottles because I like fragrances and I don't use them up, so <laughs> instead of going with the bigger one I just get the smallest one you know usually the smallest is the 35 or 30 milliliters sometimes they even have the 15 milliliters which I even prefer okay so the next item that I really really like is the Sephora classic black line that I got in March and you know guys I used to use the one by Lancome which is the exact same one even the packaging looks the same one I think they inspired this by Lancome this is how the brush looks like, exact the same like the Lancome that I had. And yeah, it works perfectly. It works, it's, it's exact the same one and this one is called Sephora Classic Line and it's an eyeliner, eyeliner that uh, holds 24 hours. And the price difference is something like this. I paid between 12 or 14 euros. The Lancome one is 30 euros, something like this or 20 something. So this is my all-time favorite at the moment. This is what I use. The next item that I really like is are the sunglasses. And this one are by um, Louis Vuitton. And are the Cosp something um, pilot sunglasses in Dame Azure. This is how they look. And here on the side, as you can tell, is um, Dame Azure. And this is how they look on me and I know my face is quite uh, petite and small and all of the sunglasses always looks big on me but you know I need sunglasses to protect my eyes and it is quite important to use sunglasses so I think this looks quite okay on me. Then the next product that I really really like is here that this one is a Kindle and I bought myself the Kindle Paperwhite after um, bor borrowing the one by my husband. So I, um, my husband gave me his, his one, you know, just to read a book that I uploaded and or downloaded, not uploaded, downloaded. And I really, really liked it that I had to buy myself my, an own one, you know. I go ahead uh, and show you how this one looks. And I got 
I got this on it's the Amazon Kindle Paperwhite and I got it on Amazon and this is how it looks still brand new haven't used it yet I need to buy myself a cover I just want to have a cover to protect it you know while I have it in my bags and so really really nice so this is really something that I can recommend if you like to read and I actually started myself just to you know read again I used to read previously but um, I was more focusing in other things like on packs and accessories instead of reading I was just um, searching online on other things but now I just want to invest again a little bit time um, in a good book there you go lastly I want to mention something very very special and uh, it are uh, so these earrings are these earrings I have here these earrings on that I really really like and these are really my favorite earrings at the moment so I ordered this from an online shop that is uh, based in Melbourne, Australia and I am so fascinating um, on their jewelry that I go ahead and get me some more and also for my mom since she liked them as well I just want to share with you some, some things I want to show you how they came they came in this uh, box just like this then they had some tags in it, there you go, and here is the brand, it's called Naked Pearl, located in Melbourne, Australia, and yeah, and then the pearls came in this packaging, really beautiful with this uh, bow here, black bow, and then this is how it looks inside, and they just wear in this pouch here, in this black pouch and what what sold me on this um, Naked Pearls brand is first of all how the page looked like I mean when the page looks really professional I like to go through and shop then I saw that they are working with a campaign you know to help um, poor, poor um, people on this world I really like this one then I like that the pearl are made the same way like the Chanel pearls are made. So you know that Chanel is not real pearls, they are glass pearls or something like this. So these are actually the same type of pearls like the Chanel one. If you like Chanel and cannot afford any pearls of them, I would go ahead and check out definitely this um, online page from Naked Pearls. They have fantastic jewelry. I would definitely go back and buy myself um, you know a set and I just have seen already some more jewelry that I want these pearls that I have on are the fresh water pearls uh, the color is white the overtone is pink the shape is drop it's called drop pearl the luster is exceptional the surface is 95% flawless and the size is the 9 millimeters so then what um, again doo -doo -doo, what can I say again more about this brand uh, this so what they say is basically pearls are natural miracle a lustrous beauty formed originally by malicious malicious Mo yeah I really hope I pronounce it well I'm so bad with my English actually yeah so and they say this pearl jewelry is made from freshwater cultured pearls naturally produced by malicious found in China and Japan. Freshwater pearls are pearly composed of nacre, the mother of pearl substance that gives pearls their distinguished glow. The pearls used have been uh, meticulously hand selected and matched. The jewelry is designed in Melbourne, Australia. There you go. So what I did, guys, I actually contacted them and asked them if they could provide me a coupon code since I really, really liked um, their work. I asked them if they can provide me the, uh, a coupon code that I would, could give to you guys um, to give you the option to try this brand if you are interested, like I am. Um, the coupon code is NAS15 and is valid only until March 17th, no, May 17th, 2015. I'm confusing March with May 
and you get 15% of your um, purchase. So I think it's also quite uh, interesting for you guys that are from Australia. I will, by the way, put down below all the links and information here. So I think for you guys from Australia, you YouTubers and Instagrammers like the Lux Babe, like Jerusha Couture. No, the Lux Babe is not from Australia, sorry, she's from Frankfurt, I guess. But I mean, uh, the word according to Lisa, Jerusha Couture, what we have? We have um, Queen of Sheba, we have... Uh, Flossy1298, she is from uh, Australia, I guess. Then we have uh, Belinda Jess, we have Katie Lee Xing, no, Katie Lee King X. She is on Instagram, also from Australia. I think, guys, for you, it's quite interesting to go ahead and check out this wonderful, wonderful brand and their online shop. So there you go, guys. These were my favorite. I really hope that you enjoyed watching this one. And thank you so much for watching. See you soon on my next video. Bye, guys.